changes are being made to parking at the Valley Plaza Mall after an employee there called 23 ABC News saying that she was upset with the mall's employee parking policy. Tonight, 23 ABC's Alexa Ray looks into the concerns. They're requiring us to park out by the streets on the outskirts of Valley Plaza, which is not lit up. We've already had girls assaulted, cars stolen out of the parking lot, cars broken into. Timmy Moore works at the Regis Salon in the Valley Plaza. She said she often closes and leaves when it's dark, but has to walk too far to get to her car. While mall security says an employee can call them and have them escorted to their car, Moore says it took them almost an hour to do just that. Late at night walking out, you never know who's out there. And like I said, girls have already been assaulted right in the parking lot walking out of the Valley Plaza at night. She says that she understands customers should get the right to park up front, but she shouldn't have to fear for her safety every time she closes up shop, which she says she does almost every day. Moore also says she is supposed to register her license plate so that it is obvious who the employees are. She said she hasn't registered her plate. However, she claims that the mall watches for employees on video then finds them. Are they that desperate for money that they have to mess with us employees that keep their mall going and make them money. You know, it's pretty pathetic. In a statement from John Baker, general manager from the Valley Plaza Mall said, Valley Plaza Mall requires employees of the mall and the companies that operate within to park in designated areas. This requirement was put in place several years ago in response to customer feedback regarding the lack of parking close to the shopping center. Valley Plaza Mall has on-site 24-7 security both inside the center and throughout the surrounding parking lots to ensure our customer and employee safety. And that was 23 ABC's Alexa Ray reporting for us tonight. More